guys. We're starting to learn. It really is the little things. I just found this really nice brand new hose in the like giveaway box up front. And oh, it looks so good. Oh, I'm struggling. I can't do this while I'm videoing. It looks so good. I'm so stoked. Our previous hose was nasty like this. And now we have this just, oh, I'm gonna show you one more time. Beautiful, look at that. Ooh. I love it. We were going to go out for sale, but there is no wind. So Dave is back and he is helping us all banner install the wind speed indicator. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the lens for those of you who tell me I look at myself too much. We have to wire it all the way from here, all the way underneath, back over to the batteries. Our favorite. All right, so I walked out here and I didn't even realize, but Dave is halfway inside our boat. They're working on the wind speed indicator now. Oh shoot, what the heck is this? We've got our um, little thing here open. We found out where the man, uh, line drops to the mast. So that comes in there. We've got the depth gauge down there. We gotta find out where to mount this, bring both those wires to it, and then run this wire from this, where we mount it to, to the pedestal. Tell us like a 30 second about you. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Florida. Okay. I'm a retired Air Force pilot, officer, safety investigator. We moved on to our boat six years ago with a wife and two daughters. And we've been sailing around Tampa Bay uh, ever since. I just graduated seminary. Nice. So, uh, what did you fly in the Air Force? I flew C-5, I instructed in both C-5s, T-6s, T-37s, and then I was a safety investigator for the Afghan Air Force, the Iraqi Air Force, uh, mentoring and teaching them. So basically what that means is every pilot out there wishes they could be in. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Well, we're happy to have you here helping us. We're very, very excited. Thrilled. Thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the sensor, this is the O-ring that seals it. Okay. And, and what is the this other O-ring. This is your uh, depth right here, also does water temperature. And this little wheel does your speed. Okay. This we're replacing is strictly a depth, so it's just a flat bottom that will pull out. They're the same brand um, from uh, Raymarine, so the through hole is the same. So it's supposed to fit. So it, it's an exact match. They made sure of that. <laughs> So we're going to pull this out. Water's not going to come gushing out. It's going to come just like bubbling. There's a small little flapper uh, valve to slow that. It doesn't stop it. It's not watertight, but it's also been several years since that was put in. So it's probably going to not work so well. Probably so, going to come through pretty quick. So you're going to expect it to kind of just ooze out water like a, um, like a sprinkler head. All right. Mm -hmm. See how quick these hands are. So cute on the front, little baby Zola. <laughs> Aww. Oh, All right, Nelly. Nelly's <laughs> oh, yeah. I want you to explain yourself here. They told me to fill it up. We gave very specific instructions. Do not fill more than five gallons. I was watching we the gauge it, on like, here. Three times. We come back. Six point three gallons. Now you're not gonna run out of gas. <laughs> All right, the boys are about to go off on this who knows how long adventure. May end up in the middle of the ocean. Four hour tour. <laughs> I'll be in the car getting some food, getting some sun tanning in. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I've just dropped the boys off. I feel like I just dropped them off for the first day of school. But um, they are going to meet me at the marina, hopefully in less than an hour. If it's more than an hour, something has gone wrong. I'll keep you updated. Okay, I'm a little nervous. I checked Banner's location um, like five minutes ago and they were getting close. They're only like a mile and a half away. Um, I just checked again. They were in the exact same location. So I wonder if something happened. Jack is about to put our name on the boat. We're so excited. It looks so good. Jack, what's the name of your business? Midnight Oil Workshop. Midnight Oil Workshop. And he does this all mobile, so he it's super man. quick. He is the man. He did this on such short notice for us. So we are so excited. And I didn't even give this this logo. He, he just made it and it was perfect on the first try. So, and then we're gonna put little baby Zola on here. Yay. <laughs> ah! I'm so obsessed. Oh, it looks so good. Look who made it. 400 miles later, they went and picked up their, their new boats. All well, newish boats. But they're going to redo these just like they redid ours. To continue with the wind speed indicator project, Banner climbed all the way up to the top of the mast to kind of check things out and get a good idea of what we were working with. That evening, a few of Banner's old flight students came by to say hi. So Dave is up here teaching all of Banner's students how sailing works. And you start to slide. Well, now my angle of attack from the keel has now come from here to there. Yeah. which generates lift. Boys are hoisting him up. Look at those back muscles. Okay, so he's right dropping there. a line with a weight at the bottom, right? Uh, yep, a line with a weight that's going to come all the way down. All the way down. That's called a traveler line. Traveler. And you see he's putting, he's feeding all down to mass. And we're going to see it come through this little opening. Charlie, your butt looks great from here. You got great ass, Charlie. Bye. Oh, you Charlie, got it? Bye. That was so easy. Okay, so they dropped the line and then they fed the wire oh, up no and up. through. And now we have the wire here. Hey, Candyman out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, babe? All right, so we lined um, this through hole, or through deck. I can't remember, honestly, what this is called. I'm not going 
good with all this shit. But we lined it up, measured exactly, put little small holes right here. Mm -hmm. That way we know exactly where to drill through the deck at. And we're putting this here. I can't remember what this thing's called at the moment. But we're gonna run this cable that's attached to the wind speed indicator up there through the deck here, around to a junction box. Um, and then from the junction box, you know, we're splitting the cable up so it's not just one long cable all the way to the switchboard. So we have a cable attached to the junction box down below to the switchboard. And Sweet. we'll be done. And we'll be done. With this part, we got a lot more. <sighs> How do you know where you're supposed to drill it? Um, so I just knock on it and then Poseidon gives me a little bit of a vibration. <laughs> The next thing on the to-do list was to seal up the hatches that were leaking. So we got that taken care of and sealed them up with life seal or life caulk. I will check and make sure for you guys in case you're wondering. Once we got the hatches all sealed up, the boys moved on to the next project, which was to fix the nav lights at the front of the boat. So Jen and I took a little break from all of this craziness. We needed a break. We, a break. we have our wine day. now. Oh my god, I can't even tell you. Moving day for me. And we're fixing all the rest of the stuff on the boat before we head out tomorrow. And we have like a hundred people on the boat all doing the same thing. And it's so guess what? It's wine time. Wine Cheers. time. Cheers. Cheers. Now we're going to help Randy and Karen dock the boat. Yep, we're just finding other things just, to do. We're just <laughs> busy girls at the marina. Busy girls. All right guys, so we had so much going on the other day that we actually forgot to uh, include one of the renovations that we made. So Dave actually noticed that before we fixed it here on the, this is the gooseneck, which attaches to the boom, right? Gooseneck attaches the boom to the mast and allows the boom to pivot around when you're adjusting the sail, okay? Adjusting the main sail. Um, so we had this bolt in here that didn't extend down at all like this. It was actually just short of the gooseneck there. Well, Dave noticed it. He went and got Butch, who owns a uh, rigging shop in St. Petersburg, and they were worried that with it being too short, that it was going to have some give and potentially damage or crack the gooseneck, and which that could make the boom fall down. And, that just wouldn't be good. So um, we couldn't find a bolt that was like the perfect size. So they actually had to like grind and chisel and uh, make this one small enough to fit in there. It took hours. So thank you guys so much. And JW helped out a lot. He actually went and got the bolts. This is awesome. So everything is great now. Thank you guys so much. You're awesome. So Charlie was just up at the top just for the second time today adjusting the wind speed and then nelly too many glasses of wine decides to go sit in the dinghy drops her phone in this water you can't see your hand in front of your face it's elbow, elbow. Charlie, the and then charlie explain what happened um, we got a, a mask and snorkel and a light and Pray to God a little bit and, and she was over 40 feet deep 40 feet deep 45 even <laughs> at one point there was 60 feet of water And it and came it, out and it was on and alive and it was amazing. Oh, yeah. Thank and, you. Uh, probably, well, probably, this well, is our last night. Yeah, and I'm going to miss you. I'm going to see you in Key West. I'm going to miss you, but she's going to come hang no, out with come us. for your birthday. Yeah. I'll be there for okay. your birthday. Okay, good. Oh, it was cold. Glenn, Charlie, y'all are legends right. of Zola. <laughs> the legend of Zola is Glenn and Charlie. They've been working literally all day long, getting everything done. We would be so lost without you guys. <laughs> so thank you, you so much. Are. Love you guys. Yeah. All right, so yesterday my dad can't got into town. And we, we were, actually two days ago, but we were doing work all day yesterday on the boat. Um, we had like five guys on the boat, so I just disappeared and got some wine. <laughs> but we're now going on our first sail. Perry's having the time of his life. Uh, 
it's a beautiful day. We've got some great conditions. And yeah, it's gonna, gonna be a great day. shower in a real shower until who knows when I'm gonna miss this place thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe and share with your friends and family stay tuned for next time when we actually set sail for the first time and make our way to fort myers just wanted to give a little shout out to Harbridge marina and everybody there you guys really made it feel like home for us and we're gonna miss you guys so much